It's called Handy Stitch, as seen on TV. This was a surprise because I didn't know that it was ordered. So I guess I have to figure out how to use it, which is gonna be exciting. So it's called a handheld sewing machine. The power of a big machine even sews through denim. Mmm, that's actually cool. And then repairs delicate fabrics like silk. Oh, and it's battery powered. It comes with, oh, denim, silk, crafts, and drapes. Oh, this should be easy if you're trying to do like a curtain or something because it's handheld. And you get free bonus of spindle, needle threader, two extra needles, oh cool, and then three extra thread, I think, I can't read that. And then it uses four AA batteries, not included. So I guess when you purchase this, you should have four AA batteries ready to use. Here's the unboxing part. Uh-oh. Okay. It looks like this. Okay. Oh, it comes with a lot. Here are the extras. Oh. oh that's pretty cool. It comes cool. with what? Uh, six? Two, yeah. four, six years? Oh, look, it has a nice cutter. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. Okay, let me just unbox this first. And then there is the actual handheld sewing machine. In there. Oh, look. Manual. It also comes with. Oh, the extra parts, which is good. Because you're going to need it. Oh, this hook right here is going to be awesome to have. Especially if you can't see up close. This is going to be awesome. So let's take everything apart. Let's leave this here like this so you guys can see what I'm trying to show you guys. Oh, look at that. It has a fabric on there and the thread. Hmm. Okay. So guys, I haven't touched a sewing machine since I think fifth grade, which you don't know my age, so long, long time ago. Okay, so here's the manual that we're going to try to decipher and try to figure out how to use. So I want to just show you all this little pieces that we have. So manual. Hey, look, it has that thread oh, okay. and the fabric. He stepped out, so I have to show him again. We have a nice cutter. <laughs> And then a measuring tape that this is so cool. And we have one, two, three, four, six threads plus the one that's already attached to the machine. So you have seven free thread. And then this is the extra. Oh, and there's two in here. An expandable one. So if you decide to use your own thread, you could. So, oh, okay, sorry. I'm going out of out of um yeah so basically you take here. this one out and then you add that one if you want to use your own thread oh cool so let's put that here okay so you have this and you have the extra thread oh and then there's the needles so it's extra pretty cool how much did we purchase this for do you remember this was i believe 21 dollars okay uh, there's the battery holder underneath I think this is the on and off button. Okay. And I think this is where you press. Yep, feels like it. And this is the lock button. I think you just push it so it doesn't press. So you don't hurt yourself with this one. Okay. Okay, the battery is in. There you go. I guess that's how you loosen it up. And let's go ahead and cut it with this. Nice. Nice. That sucker is sharp. Okay. So the purpose is try to figure out how to... I'm going to put it in a lock button. That was fast. That was kind of scary for a person that hasn't used the sewing machine. Okay. Ooh, there's a spring. Okay, guys. Be careful. This spring, I believe, is very important. It's there for a reason. OK, 
Okay, we're trying to take this off so we could learn how to put in the string. Okay, which is kind of a challenge. All right. Let's use the big one. The big one? Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay. All righty. Let's put this on the side. So this is a very tiny hole right there. And what we're going to do is get a flashlight. Okay. I got scared because it was such a tiny hole on top, but it's a big hole on the bottom. Can you guys see that? And I don't think it matters which way your thread is fed either up or down. I don't think it matters. Okay, so we got it in the first hole right there. And there's this separation right here. And you wanna put it in between this little silver spot right here. There's a spring here to hold it tight. So you just go through here. And then from here on the very bottom, there's a little hook. Do you see that? Mm, we'll use this. There's a little hook here with a hole. And what we're gonna do is try to feed it through there. Okay. I think you do need a flashlight, so thank you for that. So it's yeah. like um, four steps? Uh, so far we're on the third. There, did I get it? Yes. Okay, so let me pull a little bit. So one, the thread, you put it in this hole, one. Put it in between this little device right here to, so it doesn't, I guess, get tangled too. Three is that hook right there. And I believe the fourth one is through the needle. Now, it says here that it has to go from the back. So we're gonna aim to put the needle, um, the thread through the back of the needle. Now, there's a reason why there's this thread helper here is because the needle has the hole where you put the thread in. And what, it, it's a hook. I don't know if you could see that. It's a hook. And what you wanna do is put the thread in between the hook to feed the thread through the needle. Yep, oh, I got it. Did I get it? Yes, success, it went through. There you go. And let's pull a little bit. I think it's ready to be used. Okay, let's, I think we start here. If you're starting here, the cloth has to start from this part. I'm a newbie at this. All right, guys, unlock. Here we go, it's the moment of truth. Okay. Oh, not success, hold on. I guess you have to lock hold it, on to. It. Hold on to the thread here. All right, YouTube. After messing with this for almost an hour, we figured out why it wasn't stitching um, properly. The reason why it wasn't catching and making a stitch because this wasn't hitting the very bottom of it to create that stitch. Right now we have it in an open level, but even when it's close, it still wasn't touching and catching the very bottom. So we opened it up and discovered the needle was this high when it's supposed to be this low. So when we put it this low, the problem is this screw won't catch it. We've been trying to, you know. Almost an hour, we're trying to kind of tighten it up to. So the screw won't catch it. Either way, you know, we, we followed the rivet uh, on the needle and we even tried both sides of the needle. We even tried okay. two needles, but the, the screw still won't catch it. I'm disappointed because now I, yeah, I want to return it. today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and return it and see what happens if we're going to get a different sewing machine. Um, or even the all. same product and see if we just got a faulty one. But right now I don't want to waste time anymore with it because it's been an hour since just an hour of just doing the needle. Right all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, Hope you guys like it and hopefully this will help you guys or help us let us know what we're doing wrong. 
uh, comment as soon as you can before we return it if you can if not either way thank you for yeah. watching either way we're gonna return it we, we need we're gonna you know get a different product and see what happens thanks for watching hit the like button subscribe um again thanks i don't want to return my little cutter but i have to <laughs> all right thanks guys